Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to start talking about Lent. We talked about that last week, and it's getting ready for when Jesus dies on the cross and when he rises from the dead. So each week, we are going to tell a story that leads up to that day. Now, I know it seems kind of odd, but we're going to talk about Palm Sunday today. And Palm Sunday is not for a while yet, is it? Okay, so have you ever made a promise? I think you probably did. Has anyone ever made a promise to you? And did that person keep their promise to you? Do you think God would keep a promise that he made? Oh, yeah. I think so, too. God always keeps his promises. So God has a special group of people called the Jewish people. A long time ago, God promised the Jews, the Jewish people, that he would send them a king whose kingdom would never end. The Jews waited and waited for their king. They knew he would come because God always keeps his promise. Whoa. Let's hear what happens next. So, Jesus is the Savior and the King that God promised to the Jews. But when Jesus came, at first, the Jews did not recognize him. The people heard Jesus was coming. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. They went and got palm branches and placed them on the road for him to ride over. And on that day, they welcomed him as their king. They shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is the king! Can you say, Hosanna! Blessed is the king! All right, so as, let's go further into this. So as Jesus came closer to Jerusalem, he had asked two of his disciples, remember, disciples are his helpers, to go ahead of him. And he said, when you get to town, you will see a donkey tied up. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks you about taking the donkey, just tell them the Lord needs it and he will bring it back as soon as he's done with it. So the disciples did as Jesus said. They soon found the donkey tied at a doorway. As they were untying it, some people were standing nearby visiting. They didn't recognize these men and asked, What are you doing? Why are you untying the donkey? Well, they replied just as Jesus had told them to, explaining that the Lord needed it. And then the people let them go with the donkey. When they brought the donkey to Jesus, some of the disciples took off their coats and laid them on the donkey's back. They did this out of respect for Jesus. Then Jesus rode on the donkey towards Jerusalem. That's where the Jewish people live. As he was traveling, some people saw Jesus coming and came running towards him. They had heard he might be coming, and they wanted to see him because he had just helped a dead man come back to life. Do you know who that was? Lazarus. One by one, they laid their coats on the ground for the donkey to step on. Even the people that weren't wearing coats ran to the fields to get palm branches, and they laid them down on the ground just like the coats. Now, I wonder why they did that. Well, he was considered a king, right? Just like kings and queens, we roll out the red carpet. Well, for Jesus, this was out of respect. Remember, back then, they didn't have paved roads like we do. Their roads were dirt. So they were showing their respect to Jesus 
by covering the road so that he wouldn't get dirty. How nice. These people knew that Jesus was special. It was like when a king or queen would come to town, just like I said. This is what these people did for Jesus when they laid down their coats and branches. As they got even closer to town, more and more people noticed Jesus. A crowd surrounded him, started to shout praises to him for all the miracles he had done. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Hosanna! The word Hosanna means save us. They said this because Jesus was helping them and doing amazing things. They wanted to praise him and they wanted him to keep helping them. Some men named the Pharisees. Now these men thought they were so important. A lot of people listened to them. But when they heard the crowd praising God, they said to Jesus, Teacher, why don't you tell these people to stop praising you as if you were God? That's what they said to him. The Pharisees thought that Jesus was getting too much attention from the people. They wanted to be the most important, but everyone was listening to Jesus instead. Well, you know what Jesus said to them. This is kind of interesting. If they were quiet now, if I tell the people to be quiet now, even the rocks would cry out. Even the rocks knew that Jesus was God. After all, Jesus did make them. They made the rocks, right? Isn't that something? So, when they said Hosanna, they were waving their palm branches. Hosanna, Hosanna. You probably remember doing this on a Palm Sunday in church, right? We don't get to do it this year in church, but you can do it at home. Palm Sunday is the Sunday before Easter. In fact, that's the day of our Easter egg hunt at church outside. Now, this you should have gotten in your packet of all your Lenten items leading up to Easter. And this is your palm branch that you can put together, or you're gonna be getting this. I don't know if you got this yet or not. But anyways, when you put the stem in, this is the stem, when you put it inside, oh my goodness, what does that spell? Hosanna, how about that? Hosanna, the son of David, Matthew 21, verse nine. How about that? So here's your own little palm branch. Okay. There's a really cute song that I used to teach the kids when, uh, a while back on, um, on Palm Sunday. And it's a Hosanna song, and it goes like this. Ho, 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 Hosanna, ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. I've got the joy of the Lord. That's a really fun one. And there's another song that I'll send you. And you sing it to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it's a really cute one. So you'll be able to sing this one after, you do, after you're done watching this video. Okay, great. So I wanted to show you. I know we, we talked about the story twice already. But I want to show it to you in a picture book. Okay, so if you can, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so as they approached Jer Jerusalem, Jesus sent out two disciples and he said, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey. Whoops, this way. Let me make sure move this this way. Whoops, there we go. You will find a donkey. If anyone says anything to you, tell them the Lord needs it. They found the colt in the street, and it was tied up to a doorway, and they untied it. Some people asked, what are you doing? And they answered as Jesus had told them to. So the people let them go. Okay, so there's the disciples 
right over here, and they came to get the donkey. How about that? Okay, let's turn the page. The disciples brought the colt to Jesus. They threw their coats over it and put Jesus on it. A very large crowd spread their coats on the road. Remember, out of respect. Well, others spread branches they had to cut in the fields. And the whole crowd began to praise God with joy. They shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. And that is what Palm Sunday is all about. Now, boys and girls, you can see back here I have some items that you should have received in your Lenten packet. And I thought we could kind of look at some of these. Now, on this one here, what do I see in Calvary? You have a little book that goes along with this. So read the book, and each week you get to do one of these papers. Now this paper, it kind of goes a little bit ahead, but it does talk about the donkey down here. It talks about uh, when Jesus had the bread and wine, which we'll talk about on our own. It talks about uh, leading, finding Jesus, or finding your way to the cross in the maze. And then back here, a little Palm Sunday activity and, and other things to go with it. So every week you have one of these, and you'll learn so much about Jesus leading up to Easter. Okay, the other thing we have is this Lost and Found book. And I know I showed you these last week, but this one here tells you so many stories. And the story I'm going to show you here is day 11. Now, day 11 is where we are in Lent right now. In fact, I believe tomorrow, Monday, is day 11 in uh, day 11 of Lent. So what you do on this one is you read the stories, you read everything about it, and then you have to find the missing item, whatever item they're talking about. And just like magic, you take your pencil, and up is going to come the hidden item. Oh, what do you think that is? Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, look. Can you tell what it is? It's a lamb. I think this story is about the lost sheep. Okay. All right. Then when you go over to day 19, they're talking about Palm Sunday. And then you'll have another item to find on each page. Okay. So that's that one. Now we talked about this last week. This is our Lenten calendar, just like an Advent calendar, and you are to uh, open a door on these days listed on the back. Well, right now, today is the second Sunday in Lent, so we are going to open door number four. Oh, there it is, and you can open yours at home too. So it says the blind can see. He came to save he came to heal. He came to share, to show God's love is real. The deaf can hear. The blind can see. God's saving power for you and me. Now, you know what's really interesting about this is you lie it flat, you lay it flat down on a table. And as you open all of these, you're going to have a little display of all the days of Lent. Isn't that interesting? And it, they all tell a story. Great. Okay, so boys and girls, I think that's all I needed to tell you. Oh, there will be a, oh, you know what I wanted to talk about? About the rocks crying out. So remember, that meant that, hey, if the people don't cry out, then those rocks are going to cry out because 
God made the rocks, and they're going to be just as excited, and they know that he's God too. So there's a really cool song called Before the Rocks Cry Out. Some of you might remember it, and I will add that to our uh, lesson today, and be sure to um, listen to that. It's a really fun one. Okay, next week, we'll talk about another event leading up to Easter. See you next week. Bye-bye.